Next on our um, journey into uh, the structure of the um, some of the biochemical molecules is lipids. Um, I quite like the structure of lipids. It um, consists of two things. We've got glycerol, which is a nice molecule to remember. It's basically three carbons. Well, it's not basically. It is three carbons um, with three OH groups. It's sitting like that. Okay, and that's glycerol. Pretty useful structure because it means we can start sticking things on. Again, if you've watched the um, glucose structure video, um, look for OH groups on these molecules. That's where things are going to be bonding onto. Um, if we have anything on. Now, in the case of um, lipid, also we could call these things um, triglycerides, tri meaning three. Um, basically, you get three fatty acid chains attached. And a fatty acid chain is pretty straightforward. It's just going to be a big long string of carbons, and at one end, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the bit that makes the acid, this is called the carboxyl group, a double bonded oxygen um, and an oxygen and a hydrogen. Actually what will happen with this carboxylic group, the thing that makes something acidic um, is more or less its ability to um, shove off hydrogen ions, protons somewhere. So what normally happens in solution is, um, and we'll see this when we do amino acids, it actually kind of forms that and the hydrogen is boom, goes off to somewhere it's, it's picked up. In fact, this bond between the two um, changes, it's called a resonant bond. But we'll come to that later. Um, so all we're gonna do in here, remember again, we're gonna look for the OHs and we get, um, I'll just draw my glycerol again. I'm not gonna bother with hydrogens. The, where we have an OH on here and where we have the OH from the carboxyl group, we're going to get rid of um, one hydrogen, one oxygen, hydrogen from there. What are we left with? We're left with the oxygen that's going to bond onto this carbon. So it's going to have a double bond. And then we just continue with our carbon chain all the way down. And this here is our ester bond. Okay. Um, again, it's formed, it's a, a condensation reaction because water comes out, we should put our water in, there it is. And the same will happen on here and here, and that will be our triglyceride. Um, again, worth noting, this is a nice, simple, straightforward way to draw it. Um, chemically, it doesn't work like this. These things are on kind of zigzagging or angles because of the way that um, carbon atoms bond together. But one other point that's worth mentioning on here, which is a phospholipid. So phospholipids, the, the things you find in the bilayer, are slightly different in that you'd have, uh, you still have your glycerol, and down here we'd have um, a fatty acid chain, dot, dot, dot. Um, we'd have another one here. There's another ester bond, dot, dot, dot. There's our fatty acid chains going around. But this time, on this last, um, on this last carbon, and it would, would happen up here, we would join at the top. So again, we're gonna have a condensation reaction. We're gonna chuck water out. Um, don't worry about where it's come from. You, you won't have, have to know that. But we're gonna have a phosphate group. I'm gonna do this in, um, I've got different colors, I'm not doing that. Do it in brown, why not? Um, so the phosphate is P with a double bonded oxygen, another oxygen, and another oxygen. Uh, and if you're wondering what happens, you know, um, what else is on here, it's basically going to be, it's lost its H's. They've, they've been given away. Okay, so there's the phosphate group sitting on the top. So phosphate, uh, phospholipid, you know, when we draw them, don't we, in the, uh, when we kind of draw them like that in the membrane, um, that's our fatty acid tail. This part on the top is what's giving it the um, polar nature. You know, those negative bonds, it's polarized. That's going to be the liquid. These parts down here are non-polar. The fatty acid chains, this is why the um, the polar group you know, rotates and, and flips that way around to get away from these polarized bits and into the water. So the phospholipid, specific example of a lipid, but very, very similar.